So in a couple of in one hour or less, we will roll out a new version of Moon Trader. And here are the core and the most important features that will be new. So they're mostly related to algorithms. So the updates um, are related to algorithms. And also, as always, we try to fix most of the bugs that you guys have been reporting. So feature number one that has changed now when you select a new algorithm you see shots group you s select it it's the same panel that you're used to as you've seen before but this time around what you can do is you can insert here a list of uh, trading pairs a whole list so let's say you create a new group let's do it uh, better let's do it like this the long way so you go to market info you select futures you click on refresh wait for it to update and I will f um, I will sort them by the hourly Delta okay OMG SOL and CRV let's try to remember these ones I'll just open them up, SOL and CRV. Looks good, decent, and these guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, first of all, I'm going to stop all of my current algorithms. And now that I know that these three are pretty interesting to me, well, I'm going to create a group of shots and I'm gonna call it uh, let's say long group futures it's Binance futures and my list will go like this OMG USDT they're not case sensitive and if you leave a blank space after the comma that's okay uh, the program knows to trim the white space so so USDT and CRV USDT right so let's say that I know for a fact that I want to use the same parameters for all of these three so I'm gonna put a distance of 0.7 uh, no, I'm going to put a distance of 5% and I'm gonna leave a buffer of Point two. I'm gonna go. This is the long group, so I'm gonna go with buffer of point two and the side of buy. Now the next thing that's gonna be new in the up um, the updated version is the minimum and the maximum delta age. So these two parameters will determine whether or not your shots will work. And the way it's it, it is pretty self-explanatory so the algorithm will take a look at the minimum delta age and the maximum delta age that you set and if for example the um, the current values of these two parameters for the specific trading pair are inside of this range the algorithms will be placed automatically and the moment that one of these parameters is not met so either it exceeds as to go higher than so the um, delta age will go above the maximum delta age that you allowed which means that the volatility volatility is going to increase more than you were expecting it and allegedly let's assume that you do not want to be taking part in 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 this kind of a volatility you want to uh, make sure that you're on the safe side you want to minimize your risk you will want to set a specific maximum value for the delta age so that when it crosses it uh, it just stops algorithms will stop and your orders will no longer be placed on the exchange and the same goes for the minimum delta age let's say you set a small value of three percent because let's assume that you don't want to be trading you don't want to be using up your balance you don't want to be freezing up your balance on a flat on a flat trading pair and you're not interested in, in variation in, in, in a delta of less than three. And that's what you said here. You set the minimum delta. If it goes below that, which in your opinion is a pretty flat market, 
then it won't place any um, orders anymore. So these two parameters are added now in the latest version and you can now also include a full list of symbols. Everything else is pretty much the same. Okay, take profit, I'm leaving a real take profit. I'm going to put a distance here of 07 just to see how it works and I'll click save and start. So I'm, I'm expecting it to place buy orders here, here and here, which it did, right? It did all of that. Now all I have to do is clone it, change the name to short so that I don't um, confuse myself when I'm looking at my own list. Change the side to sell, save and start and let's see. There you go. Place an order here, place an order here, and an order here. So it's working as expected. These features were added in the latest version, which you will be able to download in the uh, nearest future. Your uh, launcher will prompt you to uh, update. In case some of you still have the question as to how it happens, over here in the top corner there will be a green long button that says click me uh, to update to the latest version that's how you do it okay that's about it for today as, as I mentioned a lot of bugs were fixed uh, especially the ones that you reported more bugs that we have uh, that takes longer times to fix will be fixed in the upcoming versions I hope you enjoyed this video